Hey Liam and Orla, it's picture just here. Uh, just want to say congratulations and enjoy your wedding day. Enjoy your wedding day. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Oh, the twenties. Oh, and then there was five. First Father's Day. This love is like the ocean that's crashing over me. It's like falling rain on the driest plains as far as eyes can see. Just like it was two weeks ago, when I understood now why my wife and my daughter was crying because she saw her for the first time in her beautiful dress. The same thing happened to me this morning, as all these wonderful ladies will tell you. There will be no shortage of water in Kilkenny after this morning. <laughs> and to my son-in-law, Liam, I always found Liam to be a wonderful, kind and gentle person. A joy to be with, and absolutely delighted that he's my son-in-law officially today. Dear Orla and Liam, you have come to this church so that the Lord may seal your love in the presence of the priest, your family and this community. Christ blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism. Now by a special sacrament, he strengthens you to fulfil the duties of your married life. Orla and Liam, you are about to celebrate this sacrament. Have you come here of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other? Will you love and honour each other in marriage all the days of your life? Are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in accord with the law of Christ and his church? I invite you then to declare before God and his church here present your decision to become husband and wife. Mrs. Kelly, we met a long, long time ago, and we met, I never thought I'd be here today like this. So it's a blessing. Um, she looks beautiful today, and I'm very blessed to have her. So thank you. Liam, do you take Orla as your wife for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health all the days of your life? I do. Orla, do you take Liam as your husband for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health all the days of your life? I do. What God joins together, humanity must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you both with his blessings.
you're a special mention this is from the sort you know parents bring their kids up and, and they teach them to grow but I think Evan has taught me just as much as I have taught him over the years so thank you